Hello everyone, this is Somni Rosé, The Sleeps of the Rose. Wherever you are, I hope that you are doing well. This video is a little more personal and it has to do with um, very much with this channel. Also, I just want to say that you might hear one of my cats. Uh, he's um, walking around, investigating, doing cat things. So you might hear him. In the uh, description box, I have indicated the different topics that I will be discussing just to make it a little bit easier for you to navigate through and you can uh, skip to your favorite topic. I've been doing ASMR videos for almost six years. March is actually my anniversary. Throughout the years, there's been different options to make a little bit of money on YouTube. When I first opened the channel, for the first year, I did not monetize my videos because it is ASMR content and I felt that the commercials were too loud, aggressive, and the sound volume was very drastic in difference between commercials and ASMR. It was very drastic. And I didn't want to disrupt people's uh, sleep. And so for a whole year, I did not monetize my channel. On the second year, I decided to monetize it because I wanted to buy supplies like Bristol board, pencils, markers, things that I wanted to use in my videos. Some of you might know this already if you've been following me for a while, but at this moment, YouTube is not my full-time job. I am employed and YouTube was pretty much my hobby. It's been my outlet where I can be creative and connect with other people. I opened my ASMR channel because, and I've mentioned this before, the tingles were such a part of my childhood. It's a beautiful memory. And for me, I wanted to connect with other people. I wanted to play. I felt like my inner child had a playground called the internet where I could come out and connect with other people and just uh, play, have fun. ASMR really connects me to my childhood. As a result, I continued creating videos because it was fun and it still is. And the channel has continued to grow and it has surprised me because, to be honest with you, I really didn't know where it would go. Opening the YouTube channel was like opening an Instagram account or a Facebook account. You just open it and you post things. That's how I approached it. And it was a way to, again, as I mentioned, to connect with other like-minded people. So. Because the channel has been growing, more people have been asking for more videos. And I tried different things, different methods to make this channel more sustainable. For example, I think on the third or fourth year, I opened a PayPal account and I added it to my YouTube channel as a tip jar. Um, but nothing happened and that's okay because it's an option 
in later into the fourth year I opened a patreon account and I did receive I think seven people who wanted to show support but then I closed it because I felt that with patreon and this is my opinion patreon works better when you are a content creator who creates content on a regular basis because you're able to create perks vip videos for your audience and i didn't think i was producing enough content to make it special for my patreon audience and so i closed that and i also wanted to give something as in if you support the channel i want you to have something like a product as something a little more tangible and so of course you know one thing led to another and i thought about merchandise and here we are so i would like to explain as to why i decided to go with merchandise as asmr grows and grows and grows and it's becoming more uh, mainstream and there's going to be more milestones for the ASMR community. But one of the things I noticed is that I am seeing ASMR merch. However, not all of it is being created by ASMR artists. And that's okay because a business is a business someone sees an opportunity they're going to take it and make something out of it i just think it would be great if more asm artists got involved and created their own merch created what they see would be perfect merchandise for the asmr community because no one knows this community better than us you and I and so there were some things that I have um, thought about and I hope that you like it and I want to show you some of the things that I have so this is more or less like a uh, part one merch video because there are other things coming down the pipeline and so far I want to share with you what I have so that I can make some changes and take your feedback and go from there. I am also going to talk about other ways that you can support this channel. The other reason why I decided to try and go down this route of offering you different options on how to um, support this channel is because in the last six years, I've seen tremendous change in YouTube. There's been the ad apocalypse where so many channels, not just ASMR, so many channels, uh, their videos were demonetized. The ASMR community has, um, and I'm saying this because I've seen this from other content creators on Twitter and Instagram they have expressed this and that is and I include myself in this YouTube for some reason whenever the acronym ASMR is used in the title our videos get demonetized I remember I did a thank you video and the title was not ASMR thank you video and it got demonetized so we don't understand we can only speculate i don't want to say that this is a fact because i haven't connected with youtube headquarters and gotten a statement from them so this is just speculation but i'm thinking the reason why our work is being demonetized is because maybe they think that asmr is something else they don't fully understand it or it could be that their algorithm, as they keep, as YouTube keeps saying, their algorithm is still learning how to navigate through the system and how to indicate 
which videos are appropriate and or not which ones are advertiser friendly the other issue that recently happened was we went from being demonetized to being over monetized so there's been videos of mine and i've seen the same thing has happened to other creators where my almost one hour video had like nine commercials in it i did not set it up that way this is something that youtube did on its own i only indicate one commercial at the beginning of the video it's not supposed to have more than that i want to thank you for letting me know that that was happening because i didn't know i also contacted youtube and they did reply and they asked me to give them the link of the video so that they could make the correction now some have said that they have ad blockers so they don't see commercials on the videos and that's fine but i just want you to keep in mind that when you suppress the commercials when you block them then we don't get any revenue and i don't want you to think that we're getting millions of dollars but i think any small amount goes a long way now i can't tell you how much all of us make per video because it's such a complex answer and it varies from location these videos are seen all over the world and advertisers around the world are paying a, i guess a different amount of money depending where they are um, for example and i know i'm getting a little bit sidetracked but i just want to explain the way that i understand it so far and i could be wrong so again these are not facts these are just observations i live in canada and when i watch youtube videos here i get canadian commercials when i am in the united states i see american commercials when i've been to europe when i was in england i saw british commercials so as you can see we are not watching the same advertisements and therefore we are not getting the same revenue it's different for everybody so again when you block it we're not getting that amount um, maybe no one is <laughs> now again i'm not here to tell you what to do it's just something to keep in mind and i respect that because i understand that watching asmr videos you want to be in a calming state and you don't want any sort of interruption and that's why i would like to present you a different way again it's optional i'm not forcing anyone but this is just another option should you wish to support this channel just say again i cannot stress this enough this is just an option other ways to support me would be clicking like subscribe and commenting below that helps too believe it or not it does help a lot all right so let's take a deep breath just inhale and exhale <sighs> I am so happy to finally let that out of my system because <sighs> I was nervous on how it would be received again <sighs> and again <sighs> there we go there we go all right so Whenever you're ready, I would like you to look down. And on this nice fuzzy table, I love this blanket by the way, I have some items. And I repeat, this is part one of my ASMR story.
Okay, where to begin? Well, let's begin with this item. Actually, I just changed my mind. Let me tell you a little story. I'm going to flip this over and show you a drawing. Okay, I'm going to move it closer for you to see. So this right here is a drawing of mine. I did this, I think it was five years ago, five or four years ago. It's supposed to be me in cartoon format. So I'm just going to move it a little closer so you can get a quick view. Now I'm going to explain a little more. So these are the headphones. And I am wearing my curly hair to the side. And here you can see the uh, headphone cord. The red lipstick, which is my trademark. And then I have a um, freckle, I guess. I'm just going to show you. On my left cheek, I have this um, spot. It's not exactly a beauty mark. I guess you could call it a one lonely freckle. So it really stands out because I have other ones on my cheek, but this one, I guess because of its location, is just a little more prominent. And then right here below, it says Somni Rose Copyright. I've been wanting to um, use this drawing for merch and stickers, that sort of thing. But at the same time, I wanted to make something that was sharper looking, a little more fashionable, a little more special. And so I commissioned an illustrator to convert this into this beautiful water color it's gonna move it closer so as you can see there's the headphone the cord the hair and there's me <laughs> i really love this beautiful drawing it went beyond what i asked for i chose the colors and I explain the kind of feeling I wanted it to evoke and that is that feeling when we feel the uh, tingles how it relaxes us and helps us to be mindful and be present and I believe that the artist truly captured that and her name is um, Andrea. So again, all the information is in the uh, description box. Okay, so here are some stickers. So you can get it in teal, pink, hot pink, and this one is color apple. There are more colors but this is what I have received so far. Once I get the other colors, as I mentioned, I'll do a part two and show you the rest of the merchandise. The size is 3.6 by five. And you can use these to decorate your notebook, anywhere really. <laughs> And if you do get one of these, you can uh, send me a picture over on Instagram and let me know how you've used them. And I'll share them on my Instagram stories. There we go. 
then there is the larger size. This one is five by seven. This one is also available in five by seven. There are two things I would like to uh, mention about my merch store. When I opened it, I made some rookie mistakes. The store is available through Teespring, which is a company in the United States. So when I was calculating the prices, I thought, again, this is a rookie mistake. I thought the prices were in US dollars but it ended up converting it to Canadian dollars because the symbol didn't change the dollar sign I didn't know which one was Canadian and which one was American so if you are interested in buying any of these items please click the link that I have provided to you in the description box because it will take you directly to the store. Whereas if you just do a normal search on Teespring, it's gonna pull up the older items with the wrong prices. You might be thinking, whoa, this is way too much. But it's because of the uh, conversion and the calculations. So ignore that one. Go with the one with the lowest price or just click the link below to take you directly to the store. Okay. And the second thing I would like to say is the um, colors on the illustration are blue, pink, and purple. When I was choosing the background, some colors look better with this drawing and others do not so when you choose an item and you choose the option to choose a different background color it might only give you a choice a couple choices or a few choices but it's because I designed it that way this drawing for example does not look good with an apple color background it just looks a little bit unnatural <laughs> and you'll see what I mean as you explore the store yourself if you wish to the next item is a smartphone cover this one is for an iPhone cover is hard understand that some covers they can be more soft and they're flexible but this one is not this one is hard and it comes in different pastel colors like light blue, pink, purple, yellow, and I believe it's available in a very soft pastel green. This one here is for an iPhone. It's also available for Android phones. Over here is an accessory bag. It is the um, smallest one. There are currently two sizes available, large and small. This one, the measurements are 8.5 by 
by six. This is what it looks like on the inside. Now for this one, I was not able to choose different background colors. It just defaulted to white. So there's only one thing that I am not sure of. So when it printed the uh, image, this one is the right size, but then this one here, it kind of cuts it a little bit here. And I am explaining that because I know some people are very particular about the stitching on items and so forth, and that's okay. I'm just being honest and letting you know how this one came out. I'm not sure if the other ones are going to uh, produce the same results. So I'm just going to move it a little bit closer. See how the stitching got part of the hair. But this side is perfect. But here, it's not. When I order the large one, I am going to order another small one and see if it does the same thing. And I'll let you know in part two of the uh, ASMR store. Over here, I love to drink tea. I cannot express enough my love for tea. Love it. And so this is the reason why I decided to create mugs. Also, some of you probably already know this about me, especially if you've seen my makeup videos. And that is I am a little bit ambidextrous. So I use my left hand a lot. I used to work in a restaurant sometimes. Sorry, it's kind of funny. But sometimes people would be taken aback because I would use both of my hands. The customers would ask me, are you ambidextrous? And I would say, I guess I am. I'm not sure. I can write with my left hand to some extent. It is legible. I can also do my makeup with my left hand. So you see that in one of my videos. I didn't intend to make it that way. It's just that as I was doing my makeup, it was more comfortable. It felt more natural to use my left hand. So when it came to the design of the mug, I didn't want to put the image on both sides. So if you're right-handed and you hold this mug, the image is facing outwards. Some people prefer that the image faces inwards towards them. Something like this. Again, it's a matter of preference. I felt that by placing the image on both sides of the mug would be a little bit too much. For me, it wasn't um, aesthetically pleasing, but I could be wrong. Everyone has different tastes. So I decided to not only design a mug for right-handed people, I also designed one for left-handed people. So here it is, left hand, see? This one is in pink, this one is in white. So it's available in three colors, white, blue, and pink. So one of the things I've noticed about 
Teespring is that when you choose the color of the mug, it doesn't paint the entire item. It's only partial. So inside is white and so is the handle and the bottom. So from here all the way around is pink or the color that is available. I'm just going to move this a little closer for your viewing. See? So again, for left hand and right hand. them away. So I noticed that I forgot to mention as to why I decided on these items. So for stickers, I like stickers. I like to decorate and it's something that is easy to use. And they also tend to be a little bit um, cheaper. Whenever I've gone to festivals or fairs, conventions, and sometimes I just happen to go and sometimes I plan to go so I'm a little more prepared financially. I am prepared to spend money. But there have been occasions where just out of the blue I decide to go to an event and I only have a little bit of um, cash on me. When I've seen a booth that I really like and they have some merch, sometimes they'll have something small like stickers or keychains or the uh, buttons and they tend to be pretty cheap. So I want to show support and it's the only thing that I can afford at that moment because most of the times at these conventions or fairs, they're only accepting cash. Sometimes I only have $20 on me. And so it's the one thing that I can afford. This is the reason why I created stickers. And out of the entire store, these are the, um, in the price range, this is the one with the least amount. So, yeah. For the, uh, smartphone case i love shopping for uh, smartphone cases i'm always amazed at the variety that they have available at these um, cell phone stores and sometimes it really makes it hard to choose because some of them are so fashion forward and some are very shiny i love that and now for the accessory bag I think it's perfect for ASMR because it reminded me of school where you can uh, place all your pencils and markers, erasers, or you can place some of your uh, makeup items right here, like lipsticks and blushes and pocket mirrors and more brushes and lip glosses and so forth. So that's the reason why I chose that. And of course, here for the love of tea or water or coffee, I do not discriminate. <laughs> Over here, now I am getting a little bit ahead with this item, so I'm going to show it now because this is something that I want to show in part two of the ASMR store, and that is apparel. I'm still waiting to get the uh, t-shirts and so far I only have one piece of apparel and that is this beautiful tank top. It's pink. This is the reason why I commission the illustration instead of using my own because I am the kind of person who is more minimalist oriented. When I'm buying my clothing, I tend to be a little more strategic with the pieces that I choose because 
number one I want them to last number two I want them to go with almost anything that I have in my closet so if I am going to buy a t-shirt it needs to have a really nice design on the front so that I look sharp with a nice jacket it can be a jean jacket or a sports jacket or a blazer with jeans and boots and makeup and hair you just look more put together the other thing is that with certain designs it can make the look sloppy casual athletic or very well put together and that is what I'm aiming for so this over here is the uh, tank top the other thing I noticed with Teespring is they don't press the image onto the shirt it is printed on which means that it is exactly dyed into the fabric so it's not like one of those other designs where they just take the image and then press it on and as time goes by it begins to peel so this one it looks like as you wash it the colors are going to fade along with the color of the shirt so I need to do more testing with the apparel but I just wanted to show you for now what this looks like and this one is a um, large size so across it's like let's see like 15 inches so 30 inches around but then again, the fabric is stretchy. As I mentioned already, I will talk in more detail about the apparel in part two of the video. So stay tuned for details and any questions regarding the apparel that you may have, leave them in the comments below so that I can address them in that other video. I'm just gonna fold it neatly here. This is the uh, KonMari method. I love her book. It has changed my life. If you've seen that already, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't, I recommend that you check out the uh, series on Netflix, KonMari method. See? and it stands on its own this item here it's become very quickly one of my favorite ones it's a tote bag just gonna move it closer for you to see so it's pretty large and what I like about it is that on the inside it has a pocket so you can put other items in there also the material is very sturdy the handles have a lot of stitching go see so let me see it's made of 100% cotton. You can also wash it and dry it. So you wash it in cold water and you dry it in low. So I'm gonna turn it inside out for better viewing so that you can see the uh, stitching it's got the tag from Teespring
So according to the tags, let's see, it says design in the U.S. and made in Mexico. Go. With the um, apparel, uh, the um, items, they are made in different places, but they are printed in the U.S. or at Teespring, and they are shipped from Teespring. For example, this tank top is made in Guatemala. And I do have a t-shirt, but it's a little bit too large on me, so I'm going to order a smaller size. But the t-shirt is made in El Salvador, which is where I'm from. So here we go. I'm just going to fold this. Again, I am following the Conmari method. Kind of forgot how I folded this. So let me see here. I think I did it like this. There we go. I'm just gonna move it here to the side. It's kind of spilling a little. have to fold this one again but there was a method <laughs> there you go and the last item is this beautiful if I may say so myself gorgeous pillow I'm just trying to find a way to move it so that you can get a better look. So these pillows come in different sizes. This one is 16 by 16. It is also available in 18 by 18 and 20 by 20. And those are in inches. I think in centimeters, that would be 40 by 40 centimeters. 45 by 45. And I think 50 by 50 centimeters, give or take. Don't quote me on it. I'm just um, kind of remembering my conversion. <laughs> so this is the indoor Hello. Also, you can uh, remove the uh, cloth, which is also washable. So I'm just going to show you. You just have to unzip it from the side and remove the uh, pillow. The uh, filling is 100 polyester fiber. Of recycled material. The um, outer of the pillow, you wash it in cold water, gentle cycled. Use mild detergent. For the dryer, it's the uh, gentle low temperature, uh, gentle cycle. There we go. So I'm just gonna put it back here on the side facing me. And the image is only on one side of the pillow. And the other side is just uh, the uh, background color. 
so that's it for the um, merch which i hope that you have enjoyed and now i'm gonna move into the other uh, topic and these are the other ways that you can uh, support my work so i have asmr content available on all streaming platforms so on the side here i'm going to uh, show you the current singles and album that i have available and that is the lavender dreams it's the same one that i have on my youtube channel and this one was more or less a test i just wanted to see how it went because many of you have messaged me and have asked me if i can have content available in audio format because as you're trying to fall asleep sometimes it's a little harder with uh, youtube you don't want to have that app open because it is a battery killer right it requires more power whereas if you're using spotify or itunes or you can just download it to your phone it's already there it's saved and there are no commercials which is a bonus i'm going to explain that a little bit uh, further so i also have the tell Ezel show which i have to say thank you so much for supporting that character because when i created it i really felt that i was taking a gamble i thought okay they're either gonna love it or hate it or who knows so for me i love uh, spooky stories it can be an asmr trigger for me if you're telling me a ghost story in a very calming soothing way i don't know it's really bizarre to be honest with you how that works and this is the reason why i created that character and many of you love that character you can't wait until halloween because that's when this character shows up and as a result i decided to create an album with her telling you stories from sunday to saturday and it's a radio show so the concept of the character is that she receives these uh, ghost stories mysterious stuff and she receives it from her audience because she has her own uh, radio show and so she reads these stories to her audience and that sort of thing so you have embraced her many of you have and and that's okay spooky stories are not for everybody i completely understand but it's just a genre available for those of you who enjoy that kind of material you really enjoyed this album and this was recorded at a again at an actual uh, studio and same with this one which is in spanish and it's also going to be available in english so these ones as well they were recorded at a sound studio i paid for that it was money out of my own pocket and again i do this because it's fun and these are not recorded at home because i want the sound quality to be at the professional level because you are paying for spotify this is a monthly service or it could be apple play is that the right what what it's called i'm not sure regardless you are paying a monthly service to these platforms and so i feel that it's my responsibility to provide you with something that is professionally made as much as possible so with the exception of lavender dreams again that was a test single the other ones were recorded at a sound studio the sound quality is way better and I've actually come to enjoy making these recordings because I am in a sound studio. It's absolutely quiet. It's relaxing. And there's a technician who is um, checking the recording, making sure everything's okay. I have a picture of it on my Instagram account if you would like to check it out. The content is cleaner. I really enjoyed it. No interruptions, better sound 
quality. The other thing is that this content is not available on YouTube. So what you get on the streaming platforms is very different from what you get on my YouTube channel. And there's more albums that I want to make and I'm so excited about it. By you listening to my audio or buying my merch, I can use those funds to pay the uh, sound studio so that I can make more content and have more albums and singles because I really come to enjoy that because again it's fun two you don't have to worry about commercials three I don't have to worry about getting demonetized from YouTube because these are completely different platforms and number four and this is something it's more self-indulgent I've always dreamed about having a radio show, something where I connect with the audience just through my voice. For me, it's like a fantasy. I get to play <laughs> in my head when I'm in the uh, sound studio. I get to pretend that I'm a radio host or I have my own podcast show. To me, it's just, um, that's the self-indulgent part. Uh, so again, I don't do these at home because as you can tell, this video was recorded in my home, and so the sound quality is different. I am a one-woman show. I do everything, recording, editing, uh, props, everything. I do what I can to the best of my abilities, and I've come a long way. If you've seen my first video from six years ago to this, it's very different. I've improved but I know that I have more to learn. It's really great to collaborate with professionals like at the sound studio because those are pros. And so they take away a lot of the pressure from me and they help me create better content for you. And now the uh, third way that you can support this channel is I am now working with brands and I have received offers from other brands but I want to work with the ones that I really like and that I know they have provided me with opportunities and it's all thanks to you because they see the questions they see the comments they see the engagement they see the interest here are some of the uh, companies that I have been uh, working with and I hope that we can continue to grow together and help one another. And one of them is uh, Sigma Beauty and the other one is Living Pure Natural. So if you have seen my Sigma Beauty video, I'm gonna leave the link in the uh, description box or if you can click right here, there's a code that you can use. If you love Sigma Beauty and you want to make a purchase, you can use my code SOMNI and you receive a discount. If you love Living Pure Natural, use SOMNI or Flowers in Your Hair. And if you sign up to their newsletter, you get 10% discount. That promotion from Living Pure Natural is valid until February 28th. So, with Sigma, it's endless. You can use the code whenever. With Living Pure Natural, which is a skincare product uh, company, you have until February 28th. So with those purchases, you support this channel. I mean, I don't get the full amount of the purchase, but it's, um, it's like a teeny tiny commission, but every everything, every little bit helps. Now I had mentioned flowers in your hair. That's my second YouTube channel, and it's more of um, supplementary work. I get a lot of beauty questions from you, which is, it really baffles me that you have become interested in knowing my skincare, uh, what I use for my skin, my makeup tips and all this, because I didn't think anyone would be interested. It really, it never crossed my mind you ask me all these questions, but I can't always answer them the way that I want in my ASMR channel. And so I answer those questions 
in flowers in your hair because I don't have to speak softly I just use my regular voice I can use music I can I have other liberties pretty much and so that's what that channel is for I try to answer some beauty questions in my ASMR channel it has taken me a while to figure out the right formula but don't worry there are more ASMR beauty videos and role plays coming your way because I know that that's what you like and they will also become available in audio format I'm so excited so that's all I have for now I really hope that you have enjoyed this video thank you for taking the time to listen to me to my concerns to my opinion I really appreciate it thank you so much for all the support I really didn't think that I would be making videos for six years and who knows for how much longer I'm not saying that there's the end coming it's just that I really didn't foresee it um, I'm not sure if I'm making any sense I thought I would only do it for a year or two but here we are six years later and it's wonderful and I thank you for giving me the opportunity because you motivated me to grow to learn new skills to sharpen my skills to remain curious to really get out of my comfort zone because ASMR has really taken me to places not only imagination wise but physically it has taken me to places that I never thought I would go or have the courage to go I want to thank you and I hope that my work also does the same for you that it calms you that it inspires you I hope that through my work I'm giving back to the ASMR community so thank you thank you very much I wish you well, health, strength, any energy that you may need at the moment. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.